to do the first collab of this summer. I know, it's insane, right? So here I am with one of my really good friends on YouTube. He's gonna introduce himself. Hey, what's up guys? You know me, that's my name, not gonna say it. <laughs> so Star and I decided to do a collab about what we hate about Google Plus. So here are 10 things. I'm gonna have to start off with all the advertisements. I know, I know, I know. I make money from advertisements too. And I'm sure that many other YouTubers make money from that. But it still annoys me that I cannot go directly to a video without watching a ad. There's a lack of friend interaction. You can't create video responses. You can't view video responses. Sometimes you can't reply to comments of people unless they have a Google Plus. There's a lot of things that are stopping people from being able to connect. And isn't that the whole idea of a social network? Indeed, Storm. That's the whole idea of YouTube. To interact. These days, I cannot reply to comments because the person who comments on my channel does not have a Google Plus account or I don't know why, but YouTube just doesn't let me reply. Everyone's channels are now the same. You've got the same layout, you've got the same options for banners, and everything is just one thing. It's like, like they said, snowflakes. But when you look at a snowflake, you don't say, oh my gosh, look, that one looks like it has a bunch of little hexagons, and that one looks like it has a bunch of little rectangles inside it. No, you're just like, that's a white speck. And to the eyes, the only customization you can do on your channel is add playlists. You can, I mean, I really miss the times when we could create uh, like custom background layout, the good old days. So isn't that the whole point of YouTube to be creative? By taking away our tags to design our channels as we want, they take away our opportunities to be creative. YouTube is a, a platform where you can upload your videos and be creative, but without the personalization of your channel, you cannot be 100% creative. Next, you have to learn a whole new social network. Everybody knows how to use Twitter. Everyone knows how to use Facebook and Tumblr usually. Google Plus is this whole new thing, and sharing is really confusing. By having to learn a whole new network, you are taking away your privacy. For example, let's take someone who doesn't want to show their real identity on YouTube because they're afraid of something. I don't know. As they have to create a Google Plus account, uh, they have to show everything of themselves. For example, what if I like classical music and I don't want to share that with you, but Google Plus makes me share it with you. By making you do things and share things you don't want other people to know, YouTube gives a chance to psychos who want to kill you, so they just have to click on your Google Plus account and then they can find out where you are and just suddenly come up to you and kill you. Google comments are broken. Um, you can spam. Just spam. You could put you, you could put any link there. It's not moderated at all, which is kind of good because you can post links to anything, but it's kind of bad because you can post links to anything. You can link to screamers or you can link to viruses. Google didn't think that through. I was okay with not being able to post links in the comments if I wasn't gonna see all this crap. Just allow us to post YouTube links at least if you're gonna get real video responses. When you post a comment on Google Plus, or on YouTube, you can make it private. So say someone makes a private comment on my video, yes, I can see it, but I can't say anything, I can't thumb it up, I don't think. It's like they're saying something, but they're not, and it takes control away from basically the person sharing themselves. Also, there is this horrible thing. It's called a plus. It seems like we want to kill vampires with these plus signs because they look just the same as crosses. Why couldn't they make it a minus or a star? They could have called it Google Star. That even would have sounded better, but they had to make it a freaking plus, which reminds everyone of maths. I don't like the fact that sub boxes are ruined. Subscription boxes used to just plain work ish. You know, you'd see most of your subscriptions in a big line. And now, it's playlist after playlist after playlist, and the people who post the most go to the top, and then you don't see one or two videos that are epic, but were posted a day or two ago. So yeah, that was 10 things we don't like about Google Plus, or we don't understand. I hope that you enjoyed this video.
video, little munchkins of mine. If you did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. And you should definitely go and check out Storm's channel as he has one too. And he's pretty amazing. If you want to add something to our list, then just leave a comment below and interact with us. And as for today, I was Donnie. That was Storm. Go check out his channel and I'll see you next time.